morning, afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon. I ended up getting sick last weekend. We had to bail out a little prematurely. We didn't get as much done as we wanted, uh, but we're back at it, and we're gonna make take advantage of the nice sunny weather. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we got some stuff to do. We gotta get our air set up. We got our blower. We're gonna get that installed. We got a piece of air trunk from the last shaft. We'll probably get a new piece, but we're gonna make this one work for now. The glacier's still rising, but uh, hopefully it doesn't cause us any problems. We'll see. Our, should, our dam here should keep it at bay. Maybe. There's not much water available for panning, so that's going to become a problem. Yeah. And yeah. It's currently ooh, almost 30 above. 25. Perfect uh, digging weather. T-shirt digging weather. Yeah, we might even pan outside today. Yeah. Sunny day. Gotta get the generator started. We're good to go. The generator's been sitting here for a week, but we're gonna see if it'll turn over without warming it up. Oh, lame. Ooh, did you hear that? Yeah. How is our new battery dead? Yeah. Oh. oh boy. I'm not sure how that's possible. That's weird. It's got a parasitic draw somewhere. Super lame. Yeah. Or it's got a bad start. I mean, just nothing. Maybe the switch is bad. Throw the jump pack on there. I left it in the truck today. Oh, great. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. We might have to get that heater. I'll keep pulling it over. Is it on? No. Uh. Before we get digging, we have to find water and get it heating up on the stove so we can start panning. But this overflow has made it kind of difficult. That's where we used to have water, it's now uh, pretty frozen. I think that's just I think the water tape fell. Yeah. Something changed. It was all water before. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, that ain't good. Dang. Look at that. Well, we could melt snow. It's not very productive, but we can do it. I'm probably gonna have to. All right. Jackhammer a hole in nice. We can do that too. Sure.
We got our ice cooking on the stove. Breakfast burritos warming. About to start digging. Got to lower the jackhammer into the hole. Got our ventilation going. Two this time. Good record. All right, so we're down the hole. One of the challenges we're facing, we're getting into bigger rocks, uh, quartz rocks. And boy, you know, the quartz is possibly harder than the bit on the jackhammer. So uh, a lot of times it deflects away from it and everything around it is frozen. So it's very hard to get this to pop out. You have to excavate a circle all the way around it. Well, when it's covered in material, you don't know how big of an area or what shape to excavate. So you have to kind of poke around and you feel it uh, feedback off of the quartz and you have to move over and chisel and chisel and chisel till you don't get that same feedback. And then once you've exposed it, you can come in under the side and pop the quartz out. It's the only way to get them out. Uh, we were talking about layer changes and we're definitely getting down into that. You can kind of see here, you can see this gray clay horizon. This is just a fine silt, probably a windblown silt. And then as we move over and down, we're getting into nice rounded rocks. And I mean, this is definitely gravel. Uh, there'll be some gold in it. It's nothing to get excited about. Uh, but it is exciting because we're getting into clean gravel. And, you know, we'll probably stay in gravel all the way down. So that's what's going on down in the hole. Just picking out big rocks, trying to eat our way around it, trying to get the bottom of the hole flattened out. All right, we had a pretty good day considering we had to pack everything up and get out here. Uh, everything on the floor is gravel. And this is where we're gonna finish our day. I'd say we're at 81 inches. Not bad. I'm gonna make a mark here. Yeah. We should stick a stick in there or something. Here's a stick. There. That's our measuring mark. Official marking place. So, 81 inches. Sweet. We're going to take a pan from the bottom. I'm going to do some of this stuff down here. It's kind of rusty. So, we'll jackhammer up a little sample of that stuff. Right down in there. See what's in it.
hot. Whew. <laughs> Too hot. Is that hot? It's like burn your fingers hot. Fish. Who uses these for hot water? All right. Nobody. Oh, it's cold water, man. of the jackhammer. <laughs> yeah. A lot of white stuff that I presume is she light. And uh, I don't see any gold. Nope. Not in this pan. Huh. No. Nothing. Not today. It's Tomorrow. okay. Tomorrow's another day. Good morning. Happy President's Day. We're out here. It's a beautiful day. We're going to get more beautiful days as uh, the weeks go on until it all suddenly comes crashing down to an end for us. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of ice on the kettle. So we've got some hot panning water. Just helps out with things. Uh, we gotta get our generator started. We got a fire going. The jackhammer is warming up, and we had breakfast, so we are just about ready to go. All right, let's go get some ice. This is our spoil pile. Kind of started building a barrier dike in case the overflow tries to come up this high. And about as quick as we did, the overflow found its way elsewhere. I don't know where it's running. Might be it's way over there in some other channel, but it's no longer running here. No water under this snow at all. It all disappeared. So hopefully it stays gone. Yeah. 
A lot of big rocks coming out of the hole. Really nice big ones. A lot more quartz too. Yep, cool looking stuff. But more to come. So this is a piece of what has come out of the shaft. And it's basically a frozen block of mud with little clasps of frozen gravel all stuck in it. So you can see little rounded rocks suspended. You can see these striations here of the bedding plane of the mud as it was laid down. And just little random rocks all stuck around here, little pockets of gravel all frozen in place. If we let that thaw, it would just turn into goop and be a handful of rocks and that's it. But that's the kind of stuff we're still digging in intermittently. I think we're getting into more gravel than mud now, but anyway. Today, we'll start with the key. No pulling required, right? Hmm. Never mind. I think it's got a bad switch. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, oh my God. All right. Well, you got to pull. All right, we got a problem. We've hit water. And if water's trying to come into our hole, it means it's not frozen down there. And, uh, yeah, nothing good will come of this. Yeah. Here's a little puddle that's forming. Just about the last thing we want to see digging this hole. We thought it would uh, freeze a lot deeper for the week we were gone, but some reason it didn't. Usually could expect it to freeze about four feet, but that was not frozen. So we're gonna have to just let it freeze for another week or so and hope that it doesn't come flowing in when we come back. So, yep. Okay, we're gonna take measurement for the day because we cannot continue digging. Okay. Damn. Hopefully next weekend it'll be frozen, but... Some of it.
Give me a pick, right? Let's see. Uh, there's gold in there. Huh, kind of surprised. A few colors. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fine colors. Maybe more than that. You guys probably can't see it, but we'll be sure to get a picture and throw it up in the video. This camera doesn't pick it up well. I'll pan it down a little bit further and maybe we can get an eye on it. Huh. This doesn't come as a surprise to us. We've already prospected up and down the creek with an excavator at this level. We ran material like this through a small trommel um, and did get some amount of very small gold. So, but it's not really mineable. We don't want the stuff at the top. We want the stuff at the bottom. little pinch of gold. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera. No. It's that small.